hi everyone welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are gonna learn how we can handle the form data so in this data we will make a simple form and we post the data from the view to the controller and make a router for the uh, post post controller also so now let's get start so here you can see that uh, this is my router actually so we made a last time of a controller which is a tutorial so i'm directly going to start from here and if you don't know how to make the controller then you can watch our previous video and link is also given in the description box so first of all now you can see that uh, uh, currently we are showing that the blade welcome.blade.php from the show view and show view are are routed here so i am going to make it the greeting greeting view I'm calling the greeting view and now you can see that uh, just open the greeting view all right so just clear the old data from here and just write h1 tag here like form so let's test first of all here all right this is working fine so now I'm going to make uh, a simple form here so form action should be I will do it within a moment so now I'm going to take the three fields, two fields actually. So input type it's the text and two more fields. It's the password and third one is the token. Because without the token, we are not able to uh, send the data in the uh, Laravel. So we need that. So don't worry about that. We will make it and it's a very easy. So at the last, I'm going to make a button and in the button I'm going to write here submit and here uh, let's make a form type equal to submit right so just now format this and now everything is done here I think with the form so now let's uh, refresh it and now you can see that the three fields are here so one field the put the name here value oh sorry we have to put the name is name and second one name is password and the third one name is token all right so we just need the three data from now and how we can uh, use the data for that how we can use the token CSRF token actually and if you directly try to post the data it will uh, show you the CRS CSRF token error so value is mm, CS RF underscore token and it's a function basically so let's see here so you can see that the token but we never show the token here uh, it should be the hidden form hidden field so I'm going to put here um, hidden so now it the field is hidden but you can if you want to see that you can see here all right so now we have to put the action path so for that what we are going to do I'm going to use the double curly brackets and just write a url with the double colon and you can put the two and it will take the basic path here base path of your application for that you can see that so let's say i want to submit it on the submit url all right okay that's fine so now uh, everything is ready so what i need to do the second thing what i uh, i need to do make a router for that I'm going to make a router for the post so it, this is the post request so I need to make a, just remove it I can make a method is post all right so just write here post and let's say uh, what we put the path here we put the submit here so we can put the same thing here and the function name the function name could be anything like 
save all right that's fine so now we need to make a save function so we just copy this function from here and put. so guys two more things that I want to tell you that you must have to include the uh, request class here and pass, pass in the uh, function as a parameter so this is my save method and in the save method what I'm going to do I'm just going to print R so that we can get all the request here okay and in and here I'm going to pass the request input S input means it will show you the all inputs that we are uh, sending from the phone all right so let's ready for the hit okay so I'm going to write here anil and password could be like whatever one two three four five six whatever you want to put okay so it's it's showing that four one nine error so why it's showing because we are not using the uh, middle layer actually so for handle this error uh, I'll I will make a with the forms and all these things with the middleware also in the next tutorial but this is a very simple tutorial with the form that's why I'm showing showing you that so for that I'm going to just uh, go in the middleware uh, where it is yes this is a middleware folder inside the HTTP and you can just click on the uh, last one file which is the verify CSRF token so if I put my uh, URL here uh, post I mean route here this, this is a submit then it should be work so if I just put here submit with the as a string then let's see what's going on so now you can see that we got the data here so let is let's say if you want to just want to get the name then what you can do then you can just put the name like this all right so this is a very simple tutorial for the form submission and don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box and uh, please subscribe the channel like the video and thanks again thanks for watching